So the previous owner must have installed this little spoiler, which I don't mind. But the problem is it has this huge gap all the way around and the dirt gets in there. And every time I wash my car or it, or it rains, all the dirt comes out on my bumper and it's always dirty. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna seal it with this clear sealant and we'll see how it looks. Okay, so I washed it and dried it as much as I could. So now we're gonna fill it. Okay, so this is what it looks like. It looks terrible now, but it says after five minutes, you can use a dry paper towel to remove the excess. And then after 20 minutes, uh, it should be completely cured. So we'll check back in there. As I wipe it with a dry paper towel, it helps to push in silicone into the crack and it gets rid of the uh, excess silicone. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to use a little goof off, put some on my paper towel and I'm going to clean the surrounding area, um, but I'm going to make sure it doesn't get into the crack so it doesn't remove the silicone in the gap and we'll see how it looks after that okay so after drenching it in a goof off or a, what is it called goo off I was able to get rid of the excess silicone and I don't know if you can see it but Actually, in the actual gap, you can see the reflection. Um, it's actually uh, sealed. And hopefully, that will keep the water and dirt out. I mean, I know it will, but... I'm gonna do some more cleaning, because you can still see some shiny layers. Um, I guess I'll wait till it dries out. If anything, I can use a plastic putty knife and just scrape it off. Probably not the greatest idea to do this, but we'll see how it works. Everything's reversible. Well, not everything, but most things are.